The wrapping up portion of the clan battle against the Forgotten Legion, Unknown Hope, ended more or less effectively, if not successful. Granted, yeah, we did lose that one also, but it proved to be a lot more effective because there was a more cohesive execution in teamwork this time around than there was the first couple times around from our preceding clan battles prior to. And as long as we keep up this pattern, this will allow us to definitely progressively get better and better at what we're doing here. I know there are a few people in our group that still want to try and keep pushing a win, and with all the technicalities that happened out of that last one, they want to try and strongly push that there was a win or give the win, give one win to us. But the thing is that you have to earn it still. I can take the technicality of a tie, but they can't give us they can't give us a win just because of lag or anything like that. And yes, that lobby in the first match was considerably laggy as hell, but at best we got to try and work that out because no, it would have it would be no different if the shoe was on the other foot if we had a good host on our end and they would end up lagging just like how they have a decent or adequate or good host on their end and they end up lagging us or just causes it all around. That's why it pays to try and have a third party person somewhere around where you can kind of have a decent connection all around. With the progress that we've been having so far, we're getting there. We will eventually win a match. Because, as I've stated out here before, with Immortal Descendants on hiatus right now, or whatever it is is going on with that clan, we don't have any other clan that's like directly on our level that we can go back and forth between and potentially beat them outright. All the rest of these other clans have years of other experience on us with a lot of and each of their members each of their members are a pro player in some way and they have a lot of experience that differs in different areas. And so it's going to be pretty tough in order to try and get it sometimes. We will get this because I don't want to lose team morale. I don't want to do that. I want to try and focus on the positivity of each battle that we have regardless of win or loss. I don't want to focus on the negativity. I will focus on the setbacks of each one. That way we can slowly keep improving. But I don't want to keep focusing on the negatives. Otherwise, we don't get better because you want because all we're doing is at that point is nitpicking. And nitpicking doesn't progressive. Nitpicking doesn't allow progress to transpire. Sooner or later, we will find our next clan battle. And then from that one, we're going to hop right into that one once we get everything set up between either challenging a new group or re-challenging an old group such as uh, Dark Mount or even this one right here TUH TFL we'll see if we cannot try and beat them next time as we're going along here I'm also gonna try and drive my attention elsewhere until that time comes so until then viewers thanks for watching uh, I'm gonna go over another synopsis at some point or another when we have our next clan battle and you will hear from me when you can.